All right, there we go. Hi, how are you? Good, good. You're all good? Yep. Well, I have to say the last time we saw you, things went a little bit nuts. Should I yeah. say? <laughs> <laughs> so can you walk me through what happened there? Like what was going through your mind and and uh, nothing was really going through my mind other than, you know, some some pain and aches and just concentrating on trying to get rid of that. Um, not knowing that I, you know, was pretty close to finishing a fight because I didn't know I made contact with him. And yeah, no, it was a interesting, interesting fight. <laughs> when you have moments like that where things kind of go weird and then you go back two or three days later or whatever and you watch it, do you learn things that you didn't realize in the moment? <laughs> Uh, well, I always knew that being a southpaw with a very open stance, uh, that inside leg kick was very susceptible to taking uh, groin shots, <laughs> um, just not one that hard. <laughs> uh, but no, it it's kind of goes with uh, how I fight, I guess. Um, you know, take a beating and keep going. Um, that's just kind of how it goes. Is it odd to you, too, that you, you have this, you know, viral moment and it's for something kind of silly? You know, it's not like... <laughs> something you really want to be showing off you know what what was that yeah i mean i mean it's uh, I'd, I'd rather gone you know something much easier like if i was said hot two or something like that you know like um but yeah no it's uh yeah i had friends taking me and stuff because they're just popping up everywhere on like snap their snapchats or just randomly in their feeds it was popping up so they uh uh was taking me in that quite a bit and um you know at least uh go viral for something i guess right <laughs> Do you just total sidetrack just because you mentioned it? Do you think it's completely weird that she's so famous for like saying something so? 100%. The she's got a documentary. Seriously? <laughs> There's yeah, I saw it just uh someone posted about it. Like someone they're doing like a like one hour like documentary type setting thing about her and her life or some shit. I'm like this is where we're at, society. Awesome. <laughs> Wild. But yeah, like it it must seem weird because you put so much literal hard work into your career and like though for to become as famous as it seems like she's becoming it's like it she just said something so that has to feel kind of odd like yeah that's the world we live in though you know that's uh that is what it is and yeah i don't know i mean it'd be nice if uh you'd be able to get famous from you know god on that on that subject what was it there was someone who commented on it i don't remember it was on a joe rogan episode or something um about how she got so famous but then you know, there was some other female who is the youngest you know person in nasa and did all this all these things and she's got like 800 followers on instagram but she's done so much already at like 19 years old and uh it just kind of goes to show where we're uh we're pretty pretty 80 hd society totally. <laughs> and you know now well, she's got forgotten about already because we're say, our new yeah. cycle once the new cycle comes around it's done uh, yeah. <laughs> so you know moving on from that what do you think of your upcoming fight what you know when you got the name i know you knew it was going to be one of a few people it was it like a hell yes this is what i wanted or a oh crap moment well i was sitting in a green room with uh <clears throat> with dennis and misha misha's in his corner um, I'm friends with Misha and uh, we were all sitting there BS and I'm like, well, hopefully we're on the opposite sides of the bracket. We can meet in the finals. And then we saw, we we're like, no, nope, look at that. The odds are we're fighting, but no, it's not. Uh, we get along, um, you know, great competitor, great guy. So we'll see nothing. No, ill will No, nothing in that department and just go see how it goes. What kind of fight are you expecting from him? Uh, technical. He's a very good strike. He's good all around. He doesn't have one one aspect of the MMA world where he's not good. <laughs> you know, his clinch is great. His striking, his kicks are great. His kicks are really on point. Uh, he can grapple with the best of them. And yeah, I mean, it's uh, uh, hopefully I can get him to fight a little more my way and you know turn it into a more dirty brawling type scenario because um, I'm not I'm not definitely not a technical fighter. <laughs> Does this feel almost like the final fight? Like if I get through him, I've won this thing. Or do you still feel like there's still danger on the other side? Oh, there's danger. Every every time you step in a cage at heavyweight, there's always danger. <laughs> I, was, I mean, that, that goes if you're, you know, if I was fighting on the regional scene and I fought some guy who was like three and five, I know that he's a little heavyweight and he can knock me out at any time. <laughs> what do you think of the other fight? Who do you think is going to win that? 
Uh, I think Vassell's got a good, he's got a good uh, track record and uh, game plan to take down, you know, Fedor's, you know, Sambo style fighting. Um, and, you know, he's got physical attributes that help with that. He's long, he's strong. And, you know, um, if he sticks to his plan, I think he should be able to probably get it, get it to finish in that fight. Is that who you would rather fight in the finals or, or do you have a preference? I, I, I don't really don't know much about Popoff at all. I haven't seen any of his fights. I don't know. I'm just assuming he probably fights like everyone at Team Fedor. Um, and yeah, uh, whoever it is, it is. And I'm going to go in that fight exactly like I'm going in this fight and how I went in the last fight. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm going to be the underdog. Let's just go have fun, see what happens. <laughs> what have you thought of so far of PFL? No, uh, it's, uh, you know, I got, you know, being out here extreme to tour for many, many years, I know Ray, Ray Seffel quite well. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of people carried over from Bellator. So it's kind of not a big change. It's kind of, I, I talked to the same individuals um, and, and yeah, it's just kind of like coming back into the mix. Do you think you'll do the season again next, next year? Or, or I hope so. I hope, I hope uh, if it's up to me, absolutely. <laughs> but I don't know if it's up to me. Hopefully, uh, you know, seeking my way into the playoffs here gets me a spot for next season where I can actually actually put in a good camps. I can get ready and prepare the way I want to, and not just kind of band aid everything together and see what happens. <laughs> and I want I was wondering if I could ask you just a couple uh, opinions about things that are going on in the UFC heavyweight division right now. Um, knowing you've got some some insight there you know what what do you think of what's going on there with the title like we've got a champion that's waiting for somebody and we have an interim champion that's now defending let's what would what would you do in this situation i i don't know um i do know on that ufc your hands are kind of tied i'm pushing stuff um it's it's tough uh i know um you know uh shit arsenal and and Curtis should probably be, them two should probably be fighting for an interim, at least. Um, I don't think uh, Cyril wants to fight either of them. He's kind of sitting back, it seems like. And, you know, Stipe and Jones only want to fight each other. So that's, you got to make, you can't just sit there, wait for those two guys. You got to get the freaking, you're just stop log that division. You can't do that for two years. <laughs> you got you to gotta move it along, you know. You know, fighters have a timeline. We have a very finite time. You only fight once a year. You're not really make, you're not progressing your career very much. <laughs> Do you think Jones should be stripped of the title or or voluntarily re relinquish the title since he's clearly not wanting to defend? He wants it. to hold on to the title. You can have it, but I think there should be an interim title. And then whoever wins the interim, you know, they want to fight. They want to fight Stipe and Jones with for the title, whatever. It becomes a fake, you know whatever that everyone knows that title or no title, they just want to fight each other. So right. it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> what do you think about Alex Pereira and his talk? You know, a lot of people want to see him up at heavyweight. How do you think he'd do at heavyweight? I think he'd do great until he got to that upper echelon. Um, you know, he hits hard. He comes hard. Uh, he, he comes forward. Um, he's, he's the attacker, uh, but heavyweights are a different breed. Um, he's going to be a lot faster than most of those guys, but we generally can take a punch from as well. Um, so a lot of heavyweights will take a lighter punch just so they can give that heavy one. Um, so I think I think he'd do a lot better than a lot of people think, but I think he'd also not do as good as a lot of people think. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Good luck in the playoffs. Yep. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too.